In today's charged political climate, the undercurrents of media bias, the quest for authentic political dialogue, and the public's growing thirst for unfiltered communication are at the heart of modern discourse. The success of a recent event, despite heavy media criticism, has laid bare a deep disillusionment with traditional media outlets. It underscores the public's hunger for more direct interactions with political leaders and highlights immediate concerns about how media coverage can distort reality. This growing unease also reflects broader fears that trust in our public institutions is eroding, driven by platforms that advocate for media accountability and a more open, honest political conversation. Again, with 40 minutes of silence and then a apocalypse of politics, no matter how you frame it or what caused the glitch, what was finally said between Donald Trump and Elon Musk at last night's Big X event can largely be defined as a rant filled with familiar lies and lines of attack. Kamala wouldn't have this conversation. She can't because she's not no. smart. <laughs> you know, she's not a smart person. She is a radical left San Francisco liberal, and now she's trying to protect now she's looking like she's, she wants to be more Trump than Trump, if that's possible. I don't think it's possible. But she wants to be more Trump than well, Trump. He's terrible. But she's getting a free ride. All right. But did it do what it was designed to do, which was to put the brakes on Harris's momentum? Or The uproar over mainstream media bias is louder than ever, particularly in response to CNN's handling of the Donald Trump-Elon Musk incident. The way CNN framed the event especially with its family lives and lines of attack narrative, has ignited widespread conservative outrage. This reaction isn't just about one event. It's about a pervasive concern that the media is actively shaping and often distorting the narrative around conservative figures. Yet, despite CNN's negative portrayal, the event's soaring ratings serve as a powerful testament to the public's deep desire for direct, unfiltered dialogue, an undeniable pushback against the mainstream media's tight grip on political discourse.